Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking at lesson 5.1 today, which is called Ratios and Rates. Today we're going to be looking at seven things to go on our notes, so let's go ahead and get started to see what the first thing is. Good news, in Chapter 5 you are going to be able to use a calculator, so in all of your Chapter 5 homework, quizzes, and tests, you will be able to use a calculator. Um, you only need a four-functioning calculator, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Don't think you have to get fancy, okay? That's we're later on in algebra in high school. Um, the first thing we're going to write down in our notes is what a ratio is. A ratio is just when you compare two numbers using division. Um, the example I have written here for you are there are three boys and four girls, so write the ratio of boys to girls. Because boys was listed first, the number for boys goes first, and since girls was listed second, the number for girls listed is listed as second. Okay? The three ways you're going to write a ratio are these ways, 3 to 4, 3 colon 4, or 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is going to be the most common way, but I wanted to make sure that you knew all three ways of that, the way that you're going to see it. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video to write down the definition and the three ways that a ratio is written. And once you're done, click play to see what number two is. Number two and three are going to be um, a little bit different. A rate is number two, and that's just a ratio of two numbers with different units. So the only thing that's different here is instead of just numbers, you're now adding in some units. So for this one, a rate, an example would be 60 miles over two hours. A unit rate, though, is when you have the denominator of one, or the second number is equal to one. And most of the time you do this with dividing those numbers. So if I took 60 miles and divided it by the two hours, I would get the 30 miles over one hour. A lot of the time, though, you will see the unit rate written like this, 30 miles per hour. And that's just an indication that it is also a unit rate. Anytime you see that per, that means it's going to be the unit rate. Go ahead and take time now to pause it right here to write down your two definitions, a rate and unit rate, and maybe even the examples that go with. And then once you're done, click play. So this first one, I'm going to show you how to do it. It says write the ratio as a fraction in simplest form. Since 64 is listed first, 64 will go on the top and 14 will go on the bottom. I do need to make sure I can simplify it. Both 64 and 14 have the number 2 in common, so I can at least do that. If I sim simplify by dividing by 2, I get 32 over 7. I can't simplify anymore, so this would be my simplified ratio um, and what my answer would look like. I'm not going to change this to a mixed number. A lot of you are thinking, well, Ms. Mullins, why can't I put it as 4 and 5 sevenths? Okay, this is not a ratio. Remember, a ratio needs to compare two numbers. And this is not two numbers. That's a, that's a whole family of numbers, okay? That's like three numbers or whatever, okay? So you don't want to change them to mixed numbers. You always want to keep a ratio as an improper fraction. I know it's kind of hard to, to get wrap your head around, but just so you know, ratios have to have two numbers, one number on the top and one number on the bottom. Another way you can use this is whenever you're trying to find unit rate. Um, this one says the ratio table shows the cost for different amounts of artificial turf, so find the unit rate in dollars per square foot. An easy way to remember how to find unit rate is anytime it says the order, dollar per square foot, that means you're going to do dollar divided by square foot. So basically what you could do is, find, is use any of these two groups of number, any of these groups of numbers, and just take the dollar amount and divide it by the square foot amount. I'm going to use this one just because it's in the middle of the table somewhat. And I'm going to take $400 and divide it by the 100 square feet, and I would get 4. So my answer would be $4 per square foot. Okay, so it's very easy. It literally tells you the exact order that you're supposed to divide. So just make sure that you pay attention whenever it says dollar per square foot, that means dollar divided by square foot. Or miles per hour, it'd be miles divided by hours. These next two you're going to try on your own. I'm going to go ahead and just show you both questions, because there's four and five on this page. Number four asks you to write the ratio of males to females. Go ahead and make sure that you simplify that ratio. And then for number five, it's asking you to find the unit rate in miles per minute. Again, miles per minute means miles divided by minutes. 
Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, try four and five, and then click play when you're ready to check. Okay, so number four, we've got the ratio of males to females. Since males is listed first, I'm going to write 45 first, and females is listed second, I'm going to write 60, that number for females second. I do know that 45 and 60 can be simplified. The greatest common factor there is 15. When I simplify it by 15, I get 3 fourths. So my answer for number four is 3 fourths. Number five talks about miles per minute, trying to find the unit rate. So what you should have done is you can take your calculator and do 2.5 miles divided by 5 minutes. And when you do that, you get 0 0.5. Some of your answer needs to be not just 0 0.5, it's 0 0.5 what? 0 0.5 miles per minute. Okay, so just make sure you add in the rates that go with that whenever you're um, working on finding unit rates. Number six is a complex fraction. Um, this is the next thing you're going to be writing down in your notes. Basically, it's a fraction with, it's two fractions within a fraction. So, as this example, it says the subway car travels a fourth of a mile in one half minute. Find the unit rate for miles per minute. One way you could write that is one fourth mile over one half minute, which essentially means one fourth divided by one half. Okay. Remember that um, fractions are a little bit tricky because you have to do copy dot flip to show that you're dividing them. So whenever you copy dot flip it, you get 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 half. So that means your unit rate is a half mile per minute. Okay. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, write down what a complex fraction is, and maybe even write down this example and how I showed it. Once you're done, click play because we're going to try a question or two. So this one says write the ratio as a fraction in simplest form. Again, this is also kind of considered a um, complex fraction because if you write it as a fraction, you have two and a half on the top and four and a half on the bottom. Okay, this looks kind of crazy and weird, but remember this middle line right here means to divide. So technically all you're doing is taking two and a half and dividing it by four and a half. Okay, remember with mixed numbers and you're trying to divide them, you have to change them to improper fractions first. This would be 5 halves divided by 9 halves. And then you would show your copy dot flip. 5 over 2 times 2 over 9. I might would cross cancel there. Those become 1's. So I get 5 over 9. So my answer, a simplified ratio, would be 5 out of 9. Okay. So all you're doing is, if you've got a mixed number there and a complex fraction, complex fractions just mean to divide. The last thing you're going to try is this one. It says the subway moves three miles in one and a half minutes. Find the unit rate of miles per minute. So go ahead and practice this one. You're going to try to figure out how many miles per minute the subway it can go. Go ahead and take time now to pause. Click play when you're ready to check. All right, here we go. Since I'm doing miles per minute, that means I'm doing miles divided by minutes. So I'm dividing three by one and one half. If I want to, I can write these as mixed numbers, or sorry, improper fractions, and then show my copy dot flip. So three over one times two over three. And when I multiply straight across, I get six over three, which is equal to two. So that means my answer will be two miles per minute. Okay, that is going to conclude our video today, so just make sure you have your seven things written down, including your vocabulary terms, and come back and check in with us to see what you're learning next time.